2011-2012, season number 20. Kicked off on August the 13th with a bang and goals are plenty. City asserted their dominance and showed all what they could do. Thanks to the help of Silva, they turned Manchester blue. United got first blood, eight goals made Arsenal groan. Wenger had sold his superstars and sent Almunia out on loan. But the tide was already turning. It was heading the Etihad's way. In October, City beat United 6-1, even though they were playing away. Balotelli moved from bibs to t-shirts and asked, why always me? Well, because you act like a dickhead, mate. That's why you left Italy. Racism reared its ugly head. In fact, it happened twice. Suarez missed eight games for what he said. Liverpool paid the price. John Terry picked on Ferdinand and really showed his class. You're not welcome here, John Terry. Stick your blue flag up your arse. The return of the old guard welcomed back on Ree and Skulls. Arsenal's talisman reignited the flame and United's hero got some goals. And here's to the ones we lost this year. The final whistle was blown for you. Gary Speed is gone and far too young. We nearly lost Muamba too. Crisis struck when Mancini said, Carlos, get off the bench. But Tevez said, no thanks, I'm fine. And Frimpong tweeted, Dench. So Tevez worked on his golf swing, which drove Mancini crazy. Four months later, he came back saying, I'm only here because you overpay me. Van Persie carried a team on his shoulders with the Champions League place at stake. A third place finish was good enough, but now he might leave for his own sake. Swansea and Norwich passed the test, but the Magpies became the teachers. Finishing fifth did not seem possible. Newcastle were overreachers. Their secrets came from Senegal. A great start from Demba Ba was added to by Papi Cisse scoring goals like Yaboa. Signing of the season goes to the only player who achieved perfection. Stuart Downing couldn't score in a brothel. He probably couldn't get an erection. Wigan learned the Premier League is no bed of roses. They survived thanks to the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not sell Moses. Things went from bad to worse at Blackburn. The fans gave Steve Keane a kicking. Yakuba was good, but in the end their best player was a chicken. Torres struggled in front of goal. Andy Carroll equally lacked. Their poor form cost their managers as AVB and Dalgleish got sacked. And Joey Barton, what can we say? Undeniably a massive prick. If it wasn't his Tevez elbow that did it, it was his Aguero kick. In the end, the blue moon rose. The Red Devils were left in hell. Farewell to Blackburn, Wolves and Bolton, who in battle fell. Tevez mourned the death of Fergie, who was still very much alive. And Ashley Young made the Olympic team, not for football, but for his dive. And so ends the best season that ever was. Who knows if we'll see the like again. Let's hope the magic will live on and transform Roy Hodgson's men.